Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on finding probabilities for the normal distribution on a Casio ClassWiz FX991EX. We have the random variable x which is distributed normally and we have a mean of 21 and a variance of 10 and we have to find the following probabilities. And we have the probability of x being greater than or equal to 23, the probability of x being less than 18, the probability of x being between 19.5 and 22.5 and then the probability of x being less than 15 and also greater than 25 so we've got two regions of the graph to consider with that one so part a x is greater than or equal to 23 we need to go to menu and then 7 for distribution and then we're going to be using the normal cumulative distribution for this one number two from the first page so with the normal cumulative distribution, you're prompted for a lower and upper limit. So we're looking for the probability that X is greater than or equal to 23. So the lower limit is going to be 23. So we want to input that in the lower section. Now upper, essentially we don't want any upper limit. Essentially it's going to be infinity. But unfortunately we can't input infinity into the class whiz. We've got to put in some sort of value so that it can compute it. So really you've got to go as high as you think of. You've got to go really at least five standard deviations above your mean, but really you can go as high as you like. And I like to input nine times 10 to the 99. Let's go for a really large number. And really this is more than enough. You don't have to go that high. This is more than enough to calculate it accurately to quite a number of decimal places. So we have to have some sort of value. So we might as well go with a reasonably high value on there. Okay, standard deviation. Remember that the distribution gives us the variance. So we want to square root that. So square root 10. I'm just going to let the calculator do that for me. And then we have a mean of 21. Once we've entered the information there, so press equals to confirm. And here we have our probability. So this is our answer to A. 0.2635, let's say, to four decimal places. Okay, so let's look at answering part B. B, the probability that x is less than 18. We can still use the cumulative distribution here. So let's just press AC to return to the data input screen. Now, because we're interested in values less than, so that would be on the left-hand side of the graph, the lower tail of the normal distribution. Really, it's a question of how low can we go? So let's go for minus nine times 10 to the 99. Again, you don't have to go that low. Just make sure that your value is five standard deviations or more below the mean you might as well go for a large number there and ensure that you've got as much accuracy as you can now the normal distribution is a cumulative distribution so there's no distinction between when you have less than values and when you have less than or equal to and the same with greater than and greater than or equal to so we can just input our upper limit as 18 here and that would be the same as if x was less than or equal to 18 We've already got our standard deviation and mean inputted into the calculator from part A. So all we need to do is press equals to confirm. And here we have a probability that X is a less than 18, 0.1714, let's say, to four decimal places. Okay, so part C, we just need to go back to the data input screen. Press AC is probably the quickest way. And this time we have a lower and an upper limit that are given to us. So lower is 19.5, the upper is 22.5. So essentially that's this region of the graph. We're looking for the probability of being in that region, standard deviation and mean the same. So just press equals again to confirm. And here we have a probability 0.3647 to four decimal places. Part D is a little bit tricky. I'm going to show you two ways that you can approach this. Essentially because we have two separate regions, there will be some calculation involved. So I'm going to be storing some information from distribution into the memory and then using calculate to work that out. So let's press AC and go back to the input screen. The first method I'm going to do is I'm going to work these out separately, store the two values that we get for the probability of being in each region into the calculator memory and then add them together in calculate. So first the probability of being less than 15. Well, again, we want a really low, low limit minus nine times 10 to the 99 and then upper limit of 15 standard deviation and mean the same so equals to confirm here we have our value 0 0.28 and so on and i'm just going to store that into a ready to add to a second value in just a moment so stored to a ac again and this time we want our upper region 
well that has a lower value of 25 and an upper value of as high as you can so let's go for 9 times 10 to the 99 standard deviation and mean the same once more so press equals here we have the probability of the upper section and we're going to store that in B ready to add that to A in calculate mode in just a moment just before we go into calculate mode I'm going to show you the second way that you can approach it if we're interested in the probability of X being less than 15 and greater than 25 what we can do is we can find the probability or the area underneath the graph of the region in between these two values similar to what we did in part C if we find that region the total area under the graph is equal to 1 so what we can do is 1 minus the probability of being in that region it will find us the probability of being in the regions that we want so let's try that method as well so we can store the value from distribution mode so let's have a lower limit of 15 an upper limit of 25 and once more the standard deviation and mean are the same so press equals so here we have our probability essentially of not being in the region that we want 0.868 and so on so let's just store that to C so now we've got everything we need from distribution mode stored in the memory let's press menu and go to calculate let's do method one first so that was adding the two regions together so it's a plus B and press equals and here we have a probability 0.1318 to four decimal places or alternatively what we could do is to take the value of not being in the area that we want away from one so it's one minus while well, that was stored in C press equals and then what we can do let's just double check well these are the same values obviously so either method would be absolutely fine I would probably suggest that the second method might be a little bit quicker to do as you only need to use the input screen on distribution once store it in the memory and then use calculate to do one minus that result but either methods fine I'm going to get you the answer to that particular question don't forget to subscribe for future videos but that's it for me for now thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on the calculator guide